Hi, this is JJ Cat. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing part two of my videos on why um, social media creator rewards program are actually horrible for creators and actually exploitative a little to a certain extent. But before I tell you about that, I'm going to tell you why they're good. So the benefit of being in a creator bonus or creator rewards program is that in a nutshell, they encourage you as a creator to be more consistent. Why? Because you have the enticement, the incentive to create content for the these platforms in hopes that you will get um, a bonus it gives you get some money from it and to think about it there's a symbiotic relationship between the platforms and creators in that creators we're the one make the content that draws fans that builds up an audience and fan base and when we bring in lots and lots of thousands maybe millions of audiences the platforms then use those eyeballs to sell to the brands so without the creators they don't have the audience to sell to the brands so you as a creator are in incentivize to actually be more consistent. You can learn from the data and analytics that you get from being a more consistent creator. You also learn a lot about yourself as a creator as you're creating content, what you like to do, what you don't like to do. And you also learn about your audience, looking at that data again to see what's resonating with the audiences and what they like. So all of that is the benefits of participating in a creator rewards sort of bonus program. And the second benefit, I believe, is that you get the credibility, the authority that comes with being associated with being selected um, so essentially they have to the, the platforms pick which plat which creators to invite to join with Pinterest creator rewards program for example you look in your creator hub and when you get that earn tab that means you've been selected on Instagram for example you know that you've been selected for their reels bonus program we just open up your app and it tells you hey come on you're in the reels bonus program similarly with shorts you know you know you get invited when you hear from the platform and TikTok someone reaches out to you so the authority that comes from that gives you a little bit of a clout. I was a member of the Medium Creator Rewards Program, Medium Creator Fund um, initiative, and it was a very few of us that were selected. So those of us who are selected, we have the benefit of getting that extra eyeballs on our account or people being aware. And similarly, when I did my first video announcing that I was participating in YouTube's short sprint in October, I wore the short sweatshirt that I got when I went to YouTube in May um, as part of one of their events. And I noticed that video for my TikTok account, which isn't necessarily big, have the most engagements, the most saved, the most interest because I was wearing a YouTube Shorts logo. So that's what I talk about in terms of the credibility, authority that comes with um, being selected. So those are the two benefits of the programs. Now I'm going to talk to you about four not so great pro parts about the programs. And so let's get going. The first one is that um, I talked about at the top how there is an exchange of value with, you know, the creator's create help them help the, the platforms create wonderful content and so they can sell to the ads but they're making the money from the ads YouTube for example made 20 billion dollars in 2021 and when it announced its shorts fund a lot of people were excited about it but I was like that's a hundred million dollars for a company that earned 20 billion dollars that's essentially sofa change and worse is TikTok which made 58 billion dollars in 2021 and its fund was 200 million so it's even worse it's like pocket lint to to TikTok. So it tells you about how much they value creators, but creators were getting excited. They're like $100 million. That's more than a lot of people can imagine. And they wanted to share without really realizing the exchange isn't necessarily equal. So that's one problem with them. The second problem is a lack of transparency. I mentioned that you get selected. They don't tell you how you get selected or what makes you get selected. They may have basic sort of parameters, but you may or may not necessarily get picked. Um, and so you just don't know. And then also with some of the shorts fund bonus creators, they didn't know if they were going to earn that fund, the bonus every single month, similar with TikTok. And then when they do get it, it's sporadic. It's not the same amount of money. So it's kind of hard to rely on that as a consistent form of supplement to your income, knowing that it's inconsistent. And they don't tell you, for example, how much you're going to get or not. So that lack of transparency on who gets selected, how much you're going to make, that's the second thing that's not necessarily great for creators. The third thing that makes those programs not necessarily the best for the creators is the fact that you're doing a lot of output for a very little for example Instagram has this new December sprint where they're uh, my sister shared with me uh, what it looks like and they're asking for 150 reels in the month of December in exchange in exchange for a chance to earn a thousand two thousand or three thousand dollars now think about 150 reels for five thousand dollars five thousand dollars could be a lot of money but when you divide it up that's not a lot of money per reels that they're asking for the only program that kind of gave people a lot of money for them was the Pinterest creator rewards program and this one creator came on TikTok says she made like seventy three thousand dollars in the month of February 
February this year in 2022, and a lot of other creators were sharing how much they made. Now, the problem though, which brings me to number four, is that when you create a finite fund, the more people that join, the more people to add on, the fund de depreciates and de you know it devalues because they can only give but so much because so many people are vying for the same one pot of that pie, one pot of, of stew. Um, so as the fund, as people start joining it and Pinterest started inviting more people, the creators in the program noticed that their bonuses were getting lower and lower and that could be unexpected until they just phased it all out together. And it's great that they phased it out because it tells you the, the, the fallacy, the problem with those, everything I said f besides it being bad for creators, also for the platforms, you want a great relationship with the, with the creators. And that's why what YouTube is doing with its inviting shorts creators who get 10 million views in the last 90 days and a thousand followers to join the YouTube partner program. So sort of like a backdoor way of access to it where there's door ad revenue share. YouTube uses goes and solicits and gets brands and then you know puts them in front of the videos and then they share a revenue split of 55 40 whatever it is with the creators and it's going to be more lucrative they'll be able to make more money i think that's more a fair value exchange and also that signals to the creators that they're more valued and tiktok has one i don't know how much it's paid out the folks who joined it joined it in october i heard and so we'll be finding out if they really are actually paying people more money because a lot of folks are mad at tiktok because they're doing all this output and they're not really getting money for all the output in exchange that they other value their creativity their time they're not really being adequately rewarded for it so that's why I think ad revenue models is like the best and by the way there's other ways that you can earn money for your content um, besides ads you could do affiliates you could sell services you could sell products you can do merch you can do memberships digital assets there's a lot of different ways that you can monetize your content outside of relying on the platform to pay you if you don't know anyway so what are your thoughts on this it's a comment below do you think it's a great thing that these bonus programs are going away so I have serious and content on that in this channel so i want you to follow this account for more insights like this because i'll be this is part of my series where i am just breaking down um the different platforms social media platforms my thoughts on them and uh, yeah so this is going to be the third video in that series so check it out and you can see the other videos right here in this playlist next